What's up, my young professionals, and welcome back to the Art and Design Newscast. My name is Ray, Ray Segura. Hey, what are you doing? This is my job. Don't you have a school to run? Yes, I do. Anyways, what's up, Art and Design? I'm Angie Maldonado, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Art and Design Newscast. Let's start with our monthly art reel, showcasing some of the best artwork produced by our talented students. Amazing work as usual. Now let's transition to one of my favorite segments, Keeping Up with the Majors. This month, we will be featuring Mr. Pasetsky's junior cartooning class. Students worked on an ink wash project where they used their artistic talents to comment on current social events. These students will have the opportunity to submit their pieces to the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Let's hear from Michaela Davis, one of Mr. Pasetsky's cartooning students, about her creative process. My name is Michaela Davis. I'm a junior uh, cartooning major, and we did a editorial cartoon project. In this project, I learned a lot of inking skills. Ink wash is a ink-based medium uh, where essentially you take liquid black ink so that you can create an ink-based painting with grayscale. You could have much more in-depth uh, shading. For my own project, I decided to do it on gentrification because I live in the South Bronx and I've slowly seen my own neighborhood being gentrified. I think there's very little focus being put on it in our day-to-day -day lives. One of the biggest challenges of it was the medium of ink wash itself. It's a really hard medium to get a good grasp of. You have to be very controlled with how much pressure you apply, how much ink is on your brush. Any quote-unquote mistakes you make uh, will be permanent once you're on your final draft, which can be really, really intimidating. And it's sort of like a wall that you have to climb until you got like a very good skill set with it. You have an understanding of the medium, at which point it's a lot easier to get to the top. Huge props to the cartooning department, and I wish you all the best of luck. Now let's move on to our staff and art show that took place at the High School of Art and Design's very own Kenny Gallery. This exhibition, entitled The Artist Equals Educator, featured artworks produced by art and design faculty and staff. Let's take a look. As we approach the end of this newscast, here are some announcements.
And that concludes our monthly newscast. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you're interested in our school, follow us on Instagram and check out our school's website. Happy holidays from our newscast family.